Welcome to my tiny studio, which is actually also my walk-in closet, but don't tell anyone. Luckily, you don't need a fancy studio to make art. Just some art tools and a bit of time. Suppose you want to make drawing, sketching, making art a life habit. You decided it's about time to spend more time doing what you love. I totally agree with you. But how do you start a habit? And keep it too? Well, here's a revelation for you. The most effective way to do it is do it. Because if you are not making the change, nobody else will. And if it's really important to you, you will find a way. And if it's not, you will keep finding excuses. So ask yourself, what would you like to be good at? Finding excuses or making art? You don't need to do this all by yourself. You're not alone, you know? You may need some help with the just do it part. A little nudge, a push or even a kick in the butt. Here's where you get that. In sketchbook school. About a year ago, Danny Gregory and I met in Amsterdam, sketched together and started a brainstorm about online courses combining knowledge and inspiration from artists from around the world, joining forces, share expertise and experience, and just a few months later, Sketchbook School opened its doors. Now, almost a year later, we offer different courses for both beginners and the more advanced, for young and old, and for basically everyone around the world who has an internet connection and who's interested in making art. So, there you go. Sketchbook School can be the push that you need. Taking a course means diving into six weeks of inspiration and entertainment exploration and meeting like-minded people from all over the world via your computer screen, tablet or even your smartphone. Right now, in Sketchbook School, we offer three courses that we are super excited about. Not just because we get to create inspiring lessons, working together with the world's best sketchbook artists, but also because we are learning about you, our audience, your needs, interests and challenges. What are the courses about, you may ask? Well, first of all, to find out exactly what each class is about and to learn about the Sketchbook School faculty, go to sketchbookschool.com. There are videos you can watch and of course, you can sign up there. But just because I can't hide my excitement about all of it, let me sum up what's so cool about school. 1. Beginnings. If you want to start an art habit, fill your journal pages and sketch every day, this is a perfect class to get started. Jay Lafazio, Prashant Miranda, Ross Stendhal, Tommy Kane, Danny Gregory and myself each made a lesson to get you going and to keep you going. On your own level, you will sketch and step out of your comfort zone just a little to expand your skills. 2. Seeing. In the course themed Seeing, you will start looking around you in a different way, see the world through your own artist eyes, and you will get some help doing so from Kathy Johnson, Andrea Joseph, Brenda Swenson, Liz Steele, Danny Gregory and me. We all give you some challenging exercises that will change the way you see and experience daily things. 3. Storytelling. This is our brand new course. The theme itself is oh so appealing and I'm looking forward to the start. I was lucky enough to travel to Paris to film Jean-Christophe Deflin's lessons where he shows us his process and how he tells his stories through his flan flan covers. These are done in Hergé's Tintin style, you might know that, but with him and his family starring in it, the flan flans. I also got to visit Matthias Adolfsson in Sweden, who will reveal how he creates com complicated drawings from simple daily things, storing them into his mind and then using a lot of his imagination and humor. 
Danny filmed Melanie Ream in a park in New York City to make a groovy and jazzy lesson and he also had a spectacular day of filming Veronica Lawler's lessons which involved many, many sketches of beautiful dancers and their moves. For my own class I started to feel a bit like Julia Child because I am doing what I love so much, illustrating a recipe while cooking a favorite dish. Finally, my own cooking show. And I will also expand on visual storytelling through layout, lettering, colors and shapes. As if this all isn't spectacular enough for you, for the, for the grand finale of the storytelling course, Danny went on a cross-country trip and sketched and filmed on his way. He will show us how you tell your story in your own travel sketchbook. Since the start of Sketchbook School, a community of artists is growing and they're from all over the world. Sketchbook School students are supporting each other from their own corners of the world online and there are also people who discover fellow students in their neighborhood and meet up to sketch together. How's that for having fun doing homework? It's amazing, it's interesting and so inspiring to see all the art and progress students make during class and how they get the sketch bug and keep making art and also sharing it after the course has ended. Are you still wondering where to start your art habit? Well, all I can say is go to sketchbookschool.com. Have a look around and join us.